Hey guys, so I'm in Toledo and I wanna do a house tour. I'm doing a house tour. I'm gonna do a house tour because my parents are selling their house. They've lived here like 15 years. This is our last weekend here at the house and so I wanna record this mostly for memories, but if you're curious where I used to live when I was little, this is a video to show you. So I'm outside out at the front um, front door right now. I'll show you the front yard. So here's the front yard. They have a golf cart because they are on, I think 16 acres is this whole property. So here's the front pond. It's got fish. We used to fish all the time when we were little and there was an ice skating, like we would ice skate on it when it would freeze in the winter. There's a horse farm over here. That's not ours. And then my grandparents live over there. That's where we had Allison's bridal shower and everything. But yeah, so this is the front yard. It's really pretty with all of the, um, fall color is changing. We actually just did a photo shoot, but here is what the front of the house looks like. So this is a big house. Here's the front door and then garages over here, side door over there. We're packing up the car to take furniture elsewhere. So I'm going to take you through the house. Be mindful. Um, it's a mess because we are taking things apart, taking things off, putting them to different houses so it's looking a little bare and a little crazy but i'm gonna show you guys okay so i'm walking through the front door here is the living room i'm doing a house tour so okay but it's so we have i know so here's the front the living room you come up these stairs i'll get a better shot of it but there's a fireplace a tv and you come up and down stairs here this is the front door. And then under here is a little secret hideout area is what we used to call it. And this is where we used to store like a bunch of toys. Gray loves it now, it's all his stuff. It just goes back there. Over here, we have my the master bedroom, my parents' room. So there's a little bathroom, just a half bath for anybody to use. And then here is my parents' bedroom. So they have their bed, um, dresser, dresser, end table. Um, fireplace. This is a mini fridge down in here, lots of storage. They have a TV. And then over here is my dad's office. So this is where he would do a lot of his office work and the desk and things. And then again, here's the master bed. This is a door and it leads to the patio outside. So I'll show you. So yeah, they have a little balcony, which they can look out into the backyard. There are people um, repainting for the new owners, but here's the pool. We closed it because it's too cold now, but this is the outdoor pool and then there's an indoor pool. And then this is the backyard out here. Okay, moving on. Um, this is like a little vanity set for my mom. Hi guys. And she'd do our makeup and then like more mirrors, it's like three mirrors right here. And then in here is the master bathroom. So big tub, Gray loves the tub. Um, sink here, sink there. This is their shower, which this is honestly the nicest thing. I am gonna be so sad that I'm gonna miss this shower. And it's a little wet, so I'm gonna try to get in here without getting my socks too wet. But anyway, so it goes around the corner. It's got one, two, and three heads that all shoot water at once. It is amazing. I will miss this shower. I just took a shower in it last night. So that's the shower right there. There's a little, you know, toilet just right here. And then in here is their closet. It's a little messy. They have a washer and dryer in here so they can do their own laundry. Um, and then these are just all of their clothes. It's a huge closet because my parents have a lot of clothes. Um, my dad really just has this section and then the rest of it is all my mom. <laughs> so they have like a little bench you can sit on. They've got like a shoe organizer that's all my mom's shoes, drawers, and then you just hang everything here. And then, so that just basically is a circle and then we're back to the vanity section and the master bedroom. So we will continue on. There's this picture and that's a flower up there to match it. And then we're back in the living room and the entryway. So we'll keep going. Nice big windows of the backyard. So in here is the dining room. 
um, hutch here, dining table, there's a little rug, chandelier, and then further on, this is just kind of like a front room where you can just look out the window. There's just a chair, um, the couch you can look out the window, and then the grandfather clock. And then on here, these are pictures of all the houses that my dad has built. So he's designed all the houses that we've lived in. So this house, and then this is the house well, I'm in right now that I'm standing in. And then this is the house that we moved from. So we just got some artwork of that. But moving on, so there's a little like window so you can see into the kitchen from the dining room. This is what we call sunken study. This is where we used to do our homework. So you step down a couple stairs and then there's a bunch of desks here so you can work on all of our homework. And then there's a computer and printer so you can print and do things in online. And then big, it's okay. And then big windows for the backyard. And there's a door and then there used to be a patio set but that's gone now <laughs> there's a grill that's built in and then I'll open this for you guys so this is the backyard with the gate there used to be a trampoline out there that's gone oh the dogs are all going outside um sorry and then yeah that's the pool again okay moving on all the dogs are outside. Here's the kitchen. This is where everybody's hanging out. So there's just like a lots of counter space. Again, this is the dining room, so window looking into that. Hi, Grayson. There's double oven. And then this is the pantry. So a huge pantry to store all of our stuff. This calendar, we used to put like what everyone was doing at all times. It's empty now because we're all moved out except for my brother. But yeah, so this is the big pantry. Over here is the basement, which I will come back to that. So here's the kitchen. What's the horse say? Big island <laughs> with the sink, double fridge and freezer. And then there's um, the stove. All, tons of cabinet space. This used to be a um, there used to be a dining room or table here, so people could eat out. But that's gone now. TV. This is for the trash cans. So it's just a window to a little room that the trash cans stay in, so that they stay inside and they're not outside. I won't open that because it smells really bad. There's your horse. Where is it? These are the stairs going upstairs, which I'll take you to later. So there's a little half bath right here for everyone. I'll turn on the lights so you can see. I mean, it's a bathroom, it's not very exciting, but here is the bathroom. And then back here, this is just a broom closet. This is a garage right here. I will open it. Garage, this is where the Tesla is. Okay, great, let's close the door. And then this is just a door to the, it's a side door, just to the garages. This is a garage, the garage with the Tesla right here. And then this is a door leading into another two car garage. And then this is a little bench and it has, you can open it, it has like storage inside. We used to store like towels in there. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, huh? Come on, let's keep going. Um, off the kitchen is the laundry room, so we'll go in here. So there's two washers and two dryers in here. There's a dumb waiter where you could put a laundry basket in there and then push it and then it'll take it all the way up into the second floor, which was super nice when we had tons of laundry all the time. Um, again, washers and dryers. And then this is the laundry chute. So you could throw dirty laundry. It connects from upstairs. You can just throw it in there. And then these were all of our lockers. They used to have our names on them, but obviously we've taken them down because we don't own the house anymore. Um, but we used to have, there was six of them, so one for each of us. And so you would just see what's in, and you would just store, like you could store shoes down there, and you can store your coats and things. There's coat hangers, and we put our backpacks in here and all that. And then there's overhead storage as well. So that was really nice too. 
Yeah, pop in. This is where Berkeley used to sleep. Again, there's another bench here and then some more storage underneath. You can open this and there's more storage. So continuing on, again, this is the kitchen. There's a door back here to the um, back space. There's another two car garage over here. All of our cars are out here, but yeah, that's another two car garage. And then there's a tractor garage on the back of it. And there's Peter and little poor boy. He's in. This is a board door, like a side door. And then this is an indoor patio space that we used to just, it's screened in. So that was really nice to sit out in the summer. But here is the kitchen, huge island, enough for six chairs for us all to sit at. Your Let's yeah, go downstairs my, um, first and then I'll take you upstairs. I put a bunch of stuff in there. Hello. Mom, I put something else in the closet of the polka dot thing that I want. Okay. okay, did you go through your locker? You went through your locker. Kelly needs to go through her locker. What's that here? Okay, we're going down in the basement. Peter, where's the Down, down, down. So this is just a main living space down here. We used to have three TVs for all the gaming and things down here. There's a little window to outside up there. And then there's a little half bath down here, which is like some cabinets and the toilet and yeah, you get it. When I used to stay here, I would bring Felix and this would be Felix's room. I would keep him down here. <laughs> but yeah, so there used to be all the gaming equipment was down here. Then in here, this is our movie room. I hope the light just turned off. Here we go. This is the movie room. So there's a screen projector, um, elevated seating. So we used to have two couches here. There's a projector that will project onto the screen. And then in here is where we would keep all of the video games and the DVDs and everything would be all in here. Ooh, what was that? So all of that. Moving on with Grayson. This is the unfinished part. So this is where all the storage is. Um, and there's tons of storage down here. Storage, storage. My mom's gotten rid of most of the stuff, but there's storage under here. We would always hit our heads right here because it's lower. And so if you stand up straight, um, you will hit your head at the top of this beam and it hurt. But anyway, so this is all storage. It used to be full, but um, like I said, they've gotten rid of really everything. So down here is more storage, more storage. Um, and then it even goes around the corner here. And this would be storage too. So all of this is mostly gone. Felix loved running down here. This is where we used to keep the cats when we had cats. They would just kind of chill down here. Um, but they're all gone now, and um, Felix used to like running back here too. Come on, Gray, let's keep walking. Let's go upstairs. So here's just the unfinished part of the basement. We're going back into the movie room now. Come on, Grayson. He's having fun with the ball. So we're just moving, and then we'll go back upstairs. Here's the pantry, the kitchen, the um, laundry room is to the left. So this is where the dining table used to be. And now we will go upstairs. So up, up, up. So this is just like a study room, I guess, or just like a hangout room. So. Um, there used to be like, well, there is a computer right now, but there used to be like a bookshelf on top of it where we could keep like video games and books and stuff. And then over here, um, this TV used to be on a stand and we would play games here too. Here's the top of the dumbwaiter. So you would take and put laundry baskets from there. And then a window looking out into the front. So off of this is bedroom number one. This is where my brother used to stay. Well, it's been through a couple brothers, but this was just one bedroom. It has a really nice view of the front room. And so it just has a bed. Here's the closet. 
and then has a little sink, it has its own sink, and then it connects, it's like a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it connects in here. Here's the toilet, let me turn on the lights. Here's the lights, so bathroom, tub, and then it connects into another bedroom. And so here's, this is where Grayson sleeps. He sleeps in the closet here, but this is a really big closet. And then double sink bathroom. My brothers used to be in this room. This is the biggest bedroom. Um, and then once I moved out and they rearranged, then this was my sister's room, hence why it's purple. But this is where I stay every time I come. And so there used to be like, this used to be on a dresser over here, but Obviously that's all gone. Bed, this actually used to be my old bed when I stayed here, so that was kind of cool. And then there used to be dresser and dresser, but obviously that's all gone. And then it has a great view into the backyard. Like I said, like this is all the backyard and back in there, we used to have an in-ground trampoline and that used to be really fun. And then we filled it in once we all moved out and never went on it anymore. But yeah, so this is bedroom number two. So then you go back out into this like main hangout room and you go down the hallway. So this was a linen closet, we keep all our blankets. And then this is bedroom number three. Um, this used to be my sister's room. Um, yeah, I don't know, this just used to be her room. Bed and then closet, nothing really exciting. And then out in here, this is bedroom number four. This used to be my sister Allison's bedroom and now it is my brother Patrick's room. It's very messy. I'm so sorry that you were having to see this. But here's Patrick's bed. Um, the coolest thing about this was it had a little window seat. The blinds are down, but they has lots of views of the front yard and then it has a little storage space just like downstairs. You could store stuff down there. And then it also has a pretty good sized closet too. So there's the closet there. And then bathrooms, this is a full bathroom, double sinks, toilet, uh, shower in here. Okay, so leaving the bathroom in here, this is a just a closet, kept all our towels. But in here, this used to be my bedroom and it's cool because you had to step down into it. I always thought that was cool. And so this used to be my bedroom. Then my brother Felt took it over and then my brother Peter took it over and he was the last one in here so this is just it my bed used to be here dresser tv and then this was the closet it's actually a pretty big bedroom so a big closet in here the only problem with this bedroom is it was right above the garage and so every time the garage would open and close i could hear it so that was annoying when it would be early in the morning it would wake me up and then this is just a door to like attic space storage space i never went in there but anyway, that is all the bedrooms. Then if you go over here, oh wait, I forgot. So up here, back in this main living space, up here is the loft, the reading loft. So up here used to be books and a bookshelf and then Patrick took it over and then it was like his man cave and all of his video games and stuff. So that is what's up there. So anyway, back over here, so you come out of this bedroom or down that hall and then there's a hallway leading into what we call is the back building and so there's this long hallway it's really pretty it's got um windows showing each side and then you would just keep walking down 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 the hallway to the back building you would go down the steps here and then to the left is just like a big closet we used to call it the change out closet because it's just where we would put like all the off-season clothes to the right is the um this was the guest room um i usually would stay in here when i would come visit after i had moved out but yeah so we just had this and so it's kind of cool because if you came here as a guest you would get the whole back building to yourself so there's bed here there used to be a couch here dresser there there was a tv here and then a big closet here with like a little bench it's really nice um, so it's a nice big room so then leaving there and coming out here 
Um, and here was just like a storage space. Mostly we would store like birthday presents, Christmas presents, that would all just get stored there. There was always like plans to possibly make that into another bedroom and then we just never did. This is a window into the gym, which I'll show you from downstairs, but my dad used this as a handball room where he'd play handball with his friends, but we've used it for volleyball, dance parties, you know, whatever you can think is what we made it into. So that was fun. We also have cameras all over the house because it's so big so that we could keep a track of where everyone was. So you would go back down, down these stairs. This leads to one of the two car garages. I'll open it for you so you can see. This is where we'd store most of our bikes. Um, still some bikes in here. And the cars, I used to park my car in here, my sister used to, and all my siblings eventually would park in here. Then over here, this is like the living room of the back building. So there's a couch, there should be a TV here. Uh, we had like our Wii and game systems back here. Um, there's a sink here, lots of cabinets. Um, refrigerator and freezer so you could have like snacks and stuff. I always liked this one because it had a little window so you could like store stuff in here without having to open the door, which I always thought was cool. But this is where we'd have like a lot of our sleepovers and our parties, it would all be back here. There's a little bar area we could sit at. There's a pool table. We played tons of pool there, anything I always did. Um, huge window looking out into the backyard. There's a big closet here that would store things for the gym and then also just blankets for sleepovers and things like that. This is a door leading into the indoor pool. So I'll just show you that. There's a TV up there and like a spot for all the towels to be stored. And then this is the indoor pool right here. This is like the little robot that cleans it. So in the summer, we would lift up the garage and just keep it open. Um, but in the winter, if we just wanted to swim and didn't want to get cold, we would close this and keep it closed. And then you could just swim in the indoor while it's snowing outside. And so Gray used to love swimming in here and we would swim here with our friends and have parties and it was all really fun. So on the other side over here is the gym. I'll turn on the lights so you can see. This is the gym. We used to have all of Gray's toys and oh, it's just empty, but lots of playing in here and up there is the window we were looking out earlier. So then out the door and down the hallway. So to the left is the workout room. Um, this is my mom's Peloton bike. She loves Peloton, um, but it's just a workout room, lots of machines and that closet just holds like weights and stuff. Um, out here in the back, you can see the um, playhouse that we built, this little swing set. Um, we painted that thing ourselves and it took forever to do. Um, it looks really pretty with all the leaves falling right now, but yeah, so this is our play set. Um, Grayson loves playing on this thing, but obviously he won't anymore now that we are moving, but that was our play set. And then huge windows just looking out into the pool. You can see into the indoor pool from in here, lots of windows. And then continuing on down the hallway, down here. So in here is just like a um, storage room for like the pool equipment and stuff. And then in here, I'll open it, is this little doggy door. This is a little indoor area for Berkeley. So my parents built this. It's just a little indoor fenced in area for Berkeley. And you can see the swing set right there. And this is where Berkeley used to stay. So then in here is the bathroom for the back building. So double sinks, hello. Um, like I said, my dad used to play handball with his friends back here in the gym. And so they used to have um, cubbies and lockers for them to all or their um, equipment and, sh and clothes and different things like that. A lot of guys used to come and they used to come and play all the time and then they all just kind of got older. <laughs> but um, this is just a little changing area, storage area. Again, another um, a storage spot for people. Over here is a full bath. So potty, 
and then there's a shower back here so this was the bathroom for the back building which kind of was a pain because it's kind of far away from the bedroom but it worked so yeah that's basically all of the house um it's huge i know and so you kind of get lost but we've lived here for 15 years so i know it like the back of my hand but i wanted to keep a little video diary of what this house looked like um a lot of my for a lot of my siblings this is just the house we grew up in uh, for me it was the house before that really that i would count but um that's kind of it for this house um, my parents move out at the end of this month it's about what october 17th now so this is kind of it for the house um there's new people moving in they've got young kids and um i'm sure they're gonna love this house and they'll appreciate it but it's kind of sad that we won't come back to this house anymore really there's no reason to come back to toledo um anthony's parents still live in toledo so i'm sure we'll come here and there but it just won't be as often um, now that my parents are going to be living in columbus now so super sad that this house is leaving but i wanted to create a little memory of what this house looked like and i wanted to share it with you guys so i'm turning off all the lights now because i just left all the lights on but i hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.